Howdy folks, how are we doing? It's a Friday today, cereals yesterday, we are silaging, there's some of the heifers, they're busy sunbathing in, um, you know, enjoying a bit of the sun, and uh, yeah, we're back at the silage, this is one of the, uh, well, the, well, actually one of the furthest fields we've got, um, but um, yeah, you can see they've um, there's still a bit of grass over the far side in there, but this was way too um, you know far forward for them. So hence we've sized it. It should then grow again, uh, be nice and lush, and um, you know flush again, and you know they'll be able to come in here when it grows again. So so we well I'm bailing this at the minute. I'll possibly get taken over. Uh, might get taken over so that I can jump on the fast track because like I said it's a long way away for us um, if not I'll get it done and um, then possibly jump on the fast track we'll see anyway see how it uh, pans out but we've got this little field which I've not got a lot left to do we've got half hour or something like that um, and then we've got another field which is what 10 acres something like that maybe a bit more um, so yeah, not too bad a day, and there's a bit of grass here, like you know. So uh, yeah, jobs are good. And cereals was uh, well, previous two days we went yesterday, and um, I was impressed how many folks were, were there. Well, as in trade stands, manufacturers, that sort of thing. Um, there was a very, very good turnout. Um, I don't think there was as many folk there yesterday, you know, Joe Public. Um, but uh, the first day apparently was very busy, so... Uh, um, but uh, no, it was good, good. The only complaint I've got about the day really is that, um, like I said on the video, there was no sign of any, uh, apart from the sprayers, no sign of any demo machines. They were all parked up on the plots. You know, nothing was working, so... Um, I'll tell you what, the only things I did see working were a couple of the robot tractors. But by the time I got there, they'd parked up. I see them from far away. Oh, I've got to get over there and film them, like. And, um, yeah, the time I'd done that, they <laughs> packed up. The time I got over there, they are packed up, so. Uh, but, yeah, that was only disappointment, really. But uh, other than that, yeah, that was good. Right, so we're in the second field, as you can see, loads of lovely bales, and um, yeah, I've, well, how many bales, I made 40 bales in that uh, first field, so I didn't need to hop on a tractor and um, help cart them, they managed to get, yeah, they'd all fit on three trailers, so uh, that's enabled me to crack on in this field, and as you can see, I've not got a lot left, got a lot of short work. Um, left so ooh, another 20 bales something like that so uh, we're cracking along quite nicely now probably very soon on the video you'll see me uh, I might end up doing a bit of carting but I should definitely end up doing some wrapping because Richard's um, not about this afternoon even when he does the wrapping on and we do the baling you know that um, but he's off so I should be doing a bit more well I should be finishing the wrapping off so uh, I know you've seen a bit of wrapping before, but uh, it'd be good to see a bit more, wouldn't it, Lord? And it's uh, well, it's, well, it's another lovely day. We're, we're getting quite lucky with um, the weather. We might be able to just get first cut finished and uh, be done with it. We ain't got a lot left now. We uh, really haven't. What have we got left? Uh, an odd few fields, pretty much. buzzards about. See through the window. Always the case when a uh, baler comes out or anything comes out of your interest. So do the birds getting all the juicy grubs and um, the voles and that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's nice to see. At least they're not eating um, songbirds when they're out doing this are they? So we've got, uh, well, I'm nearly finished, obviously. We've got... Uh, oh, we've got 63. 63 bales. We tend to carry 12 on a load. Why do we do... Uh, 
yeah, why do we do that? Well, weight is one thing and bow shape is the other lot. <coughs> the more round the bows are, the better they wrap. And, well, so of course, you know, these are about 800 kilogram bales, so uh, they soon get heavy when you start piling them on. Oh yeah. Julie on the other tractor. That's one load back from there already. Four, yeah, four to go. So we've got a bit of fast track action. First time she's done some cart, well, bow carting anyway. Let's have a bit of, um, have a saw window open. Um, yeah, so we've got four loads left there. I'll have that'll be I'll have one more, so that'll be three left. Julie will come back up. So Tom Julie's come back, that'll only be two two left there, so it won't be too bad. And I think when I get back, um, I'll have to start wrapping, so uh, Um, so we'll, uh, you know, but we'll get done, that's the main thing. And a couple of fields done. T4 and it's keep. put me, uh, I don't know what's happened to me wing mirror, it's pointing the wrong way, so we'll go and sort that out. <laughs> I really don't know what's happened to that, but... Uh, uh, lane for there, somewhere there, I think it is. Yeah, it looks a fair treat now. A lot of you have been very kind with your comment saying it looks factory and that it it looks like it should be on there doesn't it it definitely um i'm pleased with how it's turned out really am oh, there we go. yeah no she's turned out a treat i mean you see on that on the final front linkage video um on the thumbnail i put uh you know a picture when it was when i went to look at it that time uh that yeah that first time like and uh, she looked a bit sorry for herself well she don't anymore does she and when i get um that engine sorted out and uh tuned up a little bit she'll be even better you know she'll be perfect look Oh, well, I'm just carrying the three spare ones now. Um, they'll be on. That leaves three. That leaves three full load uh, left now. So the old fast tracks caught the load. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Oh, I love a bit of fast track action. Here we go, kids on there. Have some.
these pesky lights. Oh, they've actually been pretty good today. Normally, they'll make you absolutely stop before changing. But they have been kind. The traffic light gods have been kind. Good mate, thank you very much. I don't know how you could not, you know, how you could drive one of these and not have a big smile on your face. A bit like the TW. It just never fails to put a smile on your face, they do. See how well she pulls as we head up the old uh, ski slope. <clears throat> uh, some plong that don't know what they don't understand the junction, they've got right away there because they're coming off the A1 where we've just pulled off. We have to, you know traffic coming from the right has priority but uh, they didn't seem to realize that but we're in fifth gear bottom split can she pull it 1300 revs yeah of course she can the old Cummins she's pulling hard you wait till she's um, had a dose of steroids then she will pull hard Get laughing, please. Oh, last bow off the fast track. Aha, oh dear. We have run out of wrap. Right, so I've got to remember how to use this. I'm used to McHale. That should. Is that all the way lifted up? Oh, uh. No, that's what I've got to do first, isn't I? That holds there. Like I say, I'm not... I don't often do this wrapper. Uh, but I've changed it many a time on the old um, Macau 991. Come here. That's it, that goes on like that. That goes back down. That goes like that. Oh, feed that through the roller. So, tie it off on the frame of the wrapper like that. Uh, this is where I have to remember. We might, uh, we're nearly wrapped, are we? Stop. And then, oh, Richard was telling me. Oh, is that? That's how many it's wrapped. So you do that. There we go, boys. That's set back to zero. So, uh, that was good. 
we can carry on. What the other player will do, that leaves, um, when that's empty, um, there'll be two more to get, and we're done. So, uh, job is a good. We're on the old uh, AgriPro in flexi mode for this, so you set your engine revs using that button there, that one there sets your travel speed limit. So look, um, there you go, well, we're flat out, so. Um, and then you, your accelerator pedal is literally just your travel pedal, so. Um, so, uh, yeah, as soon as you let you go off the, off your, you know, let your foot off the throttle, off the, th off the throttle, spit it out, doors, off the travel pedal, you stop, so. It, uh, just means you've got sort of, you know, all the power and speed you want for a job like this, like, you know. The revs are always up, the hydraulics are always um, at peak. So, um, you know, you're more productive, lot. Like. There we go. See, ones like this, that's been squidged somehow, you've got to be careful of this. It might be alright, if that's wrapped so far, that'd probably be alright. Yeah, I think we're alright. I've had one do it, um, where I squidged it a bit, getting it off, it flew it off, so um, no damage. But, uh, yeah, you just have to be careful of them ones, that's what we like. Oh, get that bit off the floor. That's why we like to have them round, because as soon as they get misshapen like that, yeah, the old wrapper can just, just chuck them straight off, like, if you're not, you know, if you're not watching and waiting for it, like. Right, I'll wait for a last two loads to come. Oh well, I'm at the fast track park, the trailer up. Get away then. Ten quizzes whether these all got it ready. <laughs> nice, the old girls parked up together. Look alright, didn't they? They do look well. <laughs> yeah, like some of you comment, uh, commented on previous vids, I suppose it's the crawler's turn now, isn't it? I need to get her. Uh, um, God, look at that. I need to get her up and going. You probably won't see it on the GoPro. Uh, we've got a formation of, I don't know, then, well, World War II era planes. What's there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in formation there. Off somewhere, off well. I would say, no, no not even deducted. I mean, Shuttleworth is sort of over that direction. And they've come, they've come from the north somewhere. I don't know where they're going. Where well, they're hiding the ducks up there. Mm. Not quite heading in the right direction. They're heading towards Stansted. <laughs> Not sure they're, uh, that's where, they're, where, yeah, where, where their destination is. things up oh, well, I get asked literally every solid video I do I get asked and of course regular viewers and commenters will already know the answer to these questions but um, first one why do we do round barrel silage um, 
Main reason is we're in control of it. Um, we're not beholden to a contractor, so we can do it when we want. When the you know, when the grass is actually ready and at its best to be cut, um, you now we can do it how much we want when we want. Um, so it just gives us flexibility in that uh, that respect. I mean, you could say, well, you know, you could still chop and do it yourself, um, which is true. I mean, that isn't. Um, beyond the realms of possibility that may happen in the future um, we were actually talking about it the other day you know if we, if we did go down that route we'd probably go with a Freud's wagon um, uh, just because it's you know it's, it's low sort of um, you know well they're not cheap them things but they're still you know it's not uh, you ain't got to you know buy a chopper and have a fleet of trailers and all that sort of stuff like you know that would sort of if we went down chop solid route you know um clamp rope that would be probably the way we would do it um but with ours at the minute works for us that's like you know like i've said many a time it's just whatever works for your farm it's worked for us at the moment now question number two just clean that blooming windscreen a bit um, why don't we rake? Yes, well, we don't rake. Yeah, we follow the mower. Um, again, a, there is a reason behind it. The reason was um, it got, well, I'm not sure of the exact sort, but essentially it got raked up once. I don't know if it was by us or someone else. Made a right hash of it. It didn't got the baler very well. Blah, 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 blah. So, it, um, so since then they've just followed the mower which has got its own benefits um, yes it probably takes a little bit longer to bow but actually not that much longer to bow um, on good crops but uh, you know what it does save is another pass so you know we haven't got to go you know get a, we haven't got to go through with a rake another tractor another operator it saves a pass and it saves diesel in its own right um, but yes I mean there are times obviously where a rake would be yeah, absolutely lovely um, you know on second cut snap when you haven't got a lot of grass in the swath obviously a rake would be very beneficial then again it's not out of the realms of possibility it may happen in the future um, but uh, yeah like I say that is that's the reason why we just follow the mower. Again, it works for us at the moment. So, um, so any questions I get, especially on this video, I want to explain it all again, um, we'll just get immediately deleted. If you can't bother to watch the video and uh, see the whole video through, you just get deleted. Simple as that. <laughs> so I'm sure yeah, my regular viewers and regular commenters get fed up of me waiting around about the same things um as well like you know so uh they were there i think they were the main two the main two things like um other than that what we've cut today has been has yielded well um it really has what we've done i've done 40 and 63 so uh 103 bales of not very many acres so yeah we're happy with that um Yes, again, we've got no end of food in stock, but, you know, we've just about done first cut, and, um, you know, if we didn't have a lot left over from last year, we would be really struggling to have enough um, food for this year, the way it's going, like, you know, obviously, a lot of the first cut yields have been, you know, very low, been really low, in fact, so, um, you know, you can never have too much food with, especially with sort of dairy animals like, you know. Um, you don't feed them, you don't get any milk. So, I mean, a bit of luck will, will, you know, demolish all of last year's silage this winter. And, um, you know, we'll be able to sort of start a bit more from scratch like. So, uh, that is, uh, that's where we are. Uh, like I say, we've got a little bit more first cut, but not a huge amount. Not a huge amount, but um, 
Yeah, a few more barrels to wrap. And then I have got to put the mower back together. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Right, so we had sort of a mini disaster, really. We weren't too bad, but um, basically, that's your conditioner there. There's a conditioner shaft. That's your tensioning pulley. That's the mine dry shaft of the bed. PTO goes from there to the 90 degree gearbox, which then comes off the tractor. So anyway, PTO shaft there, four V belts there, and um, this is all boxed in, obviously, you know, and you've got your guard there and everything. Anyway, one of these belts decided it, it had enough, come off. Um, normally it would just flick off, out of the way, fall out the bottom, jobs are good. This time, it got wrapped around this bit of shaft here, which released the tabs on the PTO. So then the PTO come off. That then split. This end, um, as you can imagine, is still going 1,000 RPM. Um, going <laughs> like that. Thankfully, PTO all all right. Um, didn't get damaged at all, not bent, no, nothing. Um, but when that come off, it literally um, uh, took all this box section off as well, because as it, like I say, as a guard that goes all the way around here, broke all the tabs off and everything. Um, so it's just one of them unlucky things. So I've had to um, weld the tabs back on all the box that covers all that. All the four new belts. Um, and uh, yeah, we've just got to put it back together now. We've done all the sort of repair work last night and uh, we were just waiting for the belts to come before we put it all back together. Yeah, obviously it's easy to put the belts on, then we can lob the, all the guards back on. So that is um, what we've got to do this afternoon. And then that'll be ready for a bit more mowing lot. So uh, yeah, it's all fun and games, isn't it lot? I mean, what were the odds of that? You know, it wrapping around the end of that shaft and then Horse in the uh, horse in the PTO shaft off. There you are, it's fun and games, fun and games. Right, we're all back together. I just had a couple of loose skids and I've got a bit of rock on this um, end disc, which is the disc that has the drum on it down there, you see. That um, then feeds the grass into the conditioner. And this always comes loose after a while. Castellated nut, um, hole on the on the shaft there so you basically you do it up tight need me a uh, span I'll do it when I'll stop it spinning and then you put your split pin back through right split pins back in and you can see that's took all the play out of that now so uh Put the drum back on, give it a test and we're away. All right, she's all good. Just time for a, a run up. Make sure uh, everything is all right. All right, shut the window. No brakes on. Vibration there at 700 reps. That'll be right once I get some grass in it. Yeah. That That'll be all right. <laughs> like I say, it's like, like a lot of things, when they get, um, when they got no load on, you get all the vibrations and everything like that. Whereas, um, when you get grass going through, it takes all the vibrations out. You know, it puts it under load and it should be, uh, it should be fine, should be fine. Good for another day. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little vid. I will see you on the next one. Ta-ta.